Allah chose Mary, Maryam, the daughter of Imran, to be the person to carry this great prophet of Allah, this great word of Allah, whom the soul blown by Allah into the Virgin Mary in a way that she found herself expecting a miracle child without the involvement of any male. So the Islamic version, which we believe is the true, the accurate, the unchanged version, is that Joseph was not actually the husband or married to Maryam. May peace be upon her. She was a virgin. And when she found herself expecting and when the angel came to her to tell her that you're expecting a child, you're expecting a miracle child, a prophet of Allah, she immediately questioned, how is this possible? And she was told it's by the instruction of Allah and Allah will help. Allah will help, Allah will guide, Allah will give, Allah will clear your name and Allah has made him a prophet and Allah has made him one of the highest prophets. If I were to ask you who are the highest prophets, would you know their names? There are five, five of them. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ibrahim alayhi salam, Musa alayhi salam. So Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Abraham may peace be upon him, Moses may peace be upon him, Jesus may peace be upon him and Noah, may peace be upon him. These are the five highest ranking prophets of Allah. Allah mentions in them in the Quran in more than one place. Let me read one of the verses. وَإِذْ أَخَذْنَا مِنَ النَّبِيِّينَ مِيثَاقَهُمْ وَمِنْكَ وَمِنْ نُوحٍ وَإِبْرَاهِيمَ وَمُوسَى وَعِيسَى بْنِ مَرْيَمْ وَأَخَذْنَا مِنْهُمْ مِيثَاقًا غَلِيظًا What a beautiful verse. Surah Al-Ahzab, Allah Almighty mentions all those five in one verse. And Allah calls them Ulul Azmi Min Ar-Rusul. They were the highest ranking of the Prophet, of the Prophets of Allah. They went through lives that Allah has mentioned most of in the Quran. The Quran is filled with stories of the Prophets. The Prophet mentioned the most in the Quran is, is Musa alayhi salam. Moses may peace be upon him, well done. And then Allah makes mention of other prophets, Ibrahim alayhi salam, Jesus may peace be upon him. There is an entire surah or chapter in the Quran named after Mary, Maryam, may peace be upon her, the mother of Jesus, may peace be upon him. And Allah mentions this whole story of how he was born and how everything happened and what he said when he was born, what happened when people accused Mary of doing something illegitimate or immoral. And Allah cleared her by making the child speak in the cradle. That's one of the miracles of Jesus. And he has had thousands of major miracles in his life. We'll mention some of them. But one of them was, and this one is not mentioned in the Old Testament or the Christian version of it. We believe that he spoke from the cradle. He spoke from the cradle, clarifying who he was. When people accused his mother, Ya Maryam, laqad ji'ti shay'an fariya. Ya ukhta Harun, ma kana abu kim ra'a sawk. Wa ma kanat ummuki baghiya. They looked at Mary and they said, you know what? You've come with something immoral, something sinful. Your father was a good man. Your mother was a good woman. They were not immoral, immodest. They were chaste, subhanAllah, clean, pure, not like this. All she did by the instruction of Allah. فَأَشَارَتْ إِلَيْهِ Allah told her, you just point towards the child. Little baby in the cradle, newly born. What's going to happen? Allah says, you don't worry, just point at the child. They said, they said, how do you expect us to speak to someone who's in a cradle, a little baby in a cradle, you want him to talk? And he opened his mouth and he says, Words that he said are mentioned in the Quran in Surah Maryam. Allah says, he says, I am the servant of Allah, a slave of Allah. Allah has made me a prophet and given me a book. Subhanallah, speaking about what is just going to happen. And Allah has made me blessed wherever I am. And Allah has granted purity, chastity to my mother. 